All right, so I'm gonna be doing a bunch of stuff on my new New Edge Mustang to get it ready to drift, but I also wanna make it look cosmetically decent. And unfortunately, I personally have always had a thing against the stock GT style wing. I, I don't like the look. Now, uh, Cobra R wing or different ducktails, sure, but this specific one, not a fan of, and it is completely delaminated uh, itself. This is actually a Southern car, not a Northern car. So there's no rust on this thing whatsoever, but it does have some paint fade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually delete this spoiler today, cover it up, clean it up so it looks all nice and show you guys what it looks like after you take the spoiler off, which in my opinion, it looks much better without the spoiler on. These are relatively simple to remove. First off, I'm gonna pop the trunk on your bitch ass. Lift it up and then there's four bolts underneath it that we're gonna access. There's a bolt here behind this grommet and the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna go ahead and take those off. I'll show you what we're gonna do next to make sure that no water gets in. Y'all better start looking for your 10 millimeters because this one is a 10. Take that out, we'll leave this to the side. Then we gotta pop the grommet off. And I believe that is also a 10 millimeter. I'm gonna loosen that one up not take it out all the way because I'm going to do the other side and then I'll just take it all off one shot. Pop that right out. Take this down. I want to make sure I get this with my finger so it doesn't fall in here because that would suck. Not that I'm going to sell this thing but I want to have all the fasteners for it. I'm gonna hold my hand behind it so it doesn't fall off. And it should come off pretty easily. Yeah, it's ugly underneath it for sure. I'll show you what I mean. So, you can actually see where this delaminated and came off. It's pretty rough there. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buff this out and then maybe hit it with some touch-up paint. I'm not worried about this rusting because that's fiberglass but um, we're definitely gonna have to do some cleanup to it. And then I got filler plugs that go in there, but first we're gonna clean up the area. I did order some touch-up paint, so I will hit it with touch-up paint. I'm ultimately gonna wrap the car, but I could still kind of clean up around this with uh, some rubbing compound. We'll try that next. If you're looking for a great way to support our channel, check out lowboostfilms.com. Not only does this support the channel, but you'll look great while you do it as well. We have a great selection of different types of apparel and merchandise that you guys can buy. I also have a selection of car parts and tools that we've reviewed on the channel that we know work well for sale on there as well at a good price. So make sure you check it out. Obviously, you want to make sure no water gets back into this thing. I got these on eBay. They are color matched mineral gray for now uh, tabs. There's a big one and a small one that goes in. And these just things just literally pop in. Boom. Boom, and we'll do that on the other side. It does make it look less horrible. And then when I get my touch-up paint, I'll just touch this up. For now, when I wrap the trunk, the whole thing's gonna get taken off, and we're gonna do it properly. But that's what it's gonna look like for now. So depending on what I decide to do with the car, I also might get the uh, ducktail spoiler, which would actually bolt into this, and wouldn't require, would actually bolt into this, and wouldn't require me to actually paint over that or wrap over that depending on what I feel like doing. But I definitely like the look of that better than the uh, original wing. You tell me, I definitely, I definitely think that looks better, for sure. That's my opinion. You can do whatever you want to your car. That's, that's, how, that's how this one's gonna look for the foreseeable future. I definitely like that. Next up, we're gonna do some things. I gotta, I gotta get the dent removed there. And uh, I might just leave this bumper that way. I'm not sure because it's gonna get smacked up at some point. But this is the Cobra bumper, so I would like to keep it, salvage it, fix it. If I do patch it, then I'm definitely gonna wrap the car because I'd have to paint it. So, and the, the hood, although the paint looks good from 10 feet away, it's not perfect. So I think at some point wrapping this thing will look cool. Maybe I'll get like a Low Boost Films logo somewhere on the car. That'd be cool. It's a drift car, it's, it's not supposed to get style points. Uh, sitting in a parking lot. It'll look cool while it's moving. So let me know what you guys think. 
If you're interested in seeing more videos on the new Edge Mustang, make sure to hit the subscribe button because I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos on this thing as I document my drift journey as we turning this thing into a full on drift car. Okay, full disclosure, I can't stand that the paint chip. So I'm probably gonna paint it. And at the same time while I'm there, cause I have to sand it down to do that, I'm actually just gonna use some body filler and patch up those panels to make it look like it's completely shaped. So stay tuned for an additional video cause I'm gonna do on that. Also got a Corbro FX1 seat I'm gonna put in this and the transmission in this thing is basically shot. Second and third gear grinds no matter what I do. So I'm also gonna put a new transmission in. So make sure you guys subscribe to check out all this stuff we're gonna do to this thing to make it a drift missile. If you can't wait until next week's video, Make sure to check out these videos that I already have ready to go.